Thanks for tuning in to my brand new Minecraft series. After a long hiatus, I'm ready to jump into more blocky action with 101 new ideas. Thanks for rocking with me all year long and enjoy the series. Let's get cracking, people. So I went over into the end because I felt like exploring. So I went there and I got a few things, but they kind of don't really matter. I'll show you what I mean right here. My name is Brian Saviano, AKA Bricks O'Brien. And yeah, so I made this armor stand, put it over here instead of over there. So we could actually see all the things that we have that are cool. Uh, one of them obviously is Gloucester's Glory right here, but we also have the Brucey boots and I got a new Elytra that is undamaged. Uh, one of the things I got was this helmet here. And basically what I want to do is make one definitive piece of armor for everything and put it on this armor stand right here that's right on top of the shulker box that oddly enough moves and sinks down is pretty cool so let's go with these two here we're gonna put this here because that's the definitive boots that's the definitive helmet so we have two of these things right here the chest plate as well as the leggings what I want to do is combine these two and I want to combine these two right here I also want to combine these two down here. So let's get everything here. I'll show you everything that I want to combine, what it's going to cost over time, and what we have right now, and what else I'm going to do. So basically, we have a lot of stuff, and I want to condense everything down to one of everything, one definitive piece. So for these two right here, the level cost is 18. I basically want to make it, if we swap it around, it's 36. So for some reason, that's what it is. So, Flame 1, Unbreaking 3, Mending, Punch, Power. And we have Infinity and Power 4. So, basically, we're putting Infinity over onto here. But that's actually not the one I wanted to do. Uh, if I take a look over here, this, no. That, that's not the one. I thought there was a different one that I had. I guess maybe not. Maybe not. All right. So, I guess it is these two that I was working with here before. So... Ideally, I want to combine these two so I can get Infinity, Power, 5, Punch, 2, Unbreaking, and Flame all on one thing here. If I swap these two around, we have Flame, Unbreaking, 3, Mending, Punch, Power, 5. Now, Infinity is not available on this. I don't want that one. I want this because there's Infinity, Power, 5, Unbreaking, and Flame. And Yeah. Okay, so that's what I want there. Now, if we take a look at this here. We have uh, Projectile Protection 4, Thorns 2. Now we have Unbreaking 3 added onto it. So maybe if I swap these two around, uh, we can get Thorns 3, uh, Fire Protection 4, Unbreaking 3. So that looks like it's the best it's going to be. The Projectile Protection and Fire Protection are not available on the same one here. So basically, it's all in terms of combining all of these at one point or another. So this is uh, Protection 4 and Breaking 3. Mending is really the most important thing there. So for 20 levels, we can get everything ported over to here, which is not a bad deal whatsoever. So that's what I'm going to be working toward uh, for now. But in regard to everything else that we have here. So all of these books, I've never used them ever. I don't know if I will ever use them. So what I'm going to actually do is trade in all of these books because I'm never ever going to use them for the most part because I haven't used them since I've gotten them and it doesn't seem like that's going to change anytime soon based on the other things I got I found the silk touch shovel you know I got a mending pickaxe here which I want to combine with this we have all of these you know iron tools here that are basically practically useless kind of so I want to get rid of those things because you know as much as it is on you know, fire protection and whatnot this sword here, Sharpness, actually does more damage than either of these right here, which is actually kind of incredible, but we don't have a Sharpness 5 anything else here, so I'm actually going to restart the music here, because we can. Uh, it's good thinking music, from what I can tell. So these two I'm actually going to put over here. So everything I want to combine is going to go over here in this section. Now, everything that is not going to be combined eventually, I am going to take over here. And, uh, yeah, just, just use it as a means to get more XP. So that we can take, uh, you know what? I'm just going to take all of it and I'm going to restart from square one because I feel like 
there's just too much stuff going on here. So we're at level 13 right now. I obviously did a little bit of, uh, you know, looting with the, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the, the fisher, fisherman's rod. Yeah, the fishing rod. Yeah, I did a lot of that there. So basically, uh, what I was saying before about the end and it being rare to find an end city and all that, yeah, not so much. Uh, not really at all. It's, it's not even kind of a question. It's, it's very easy to, uh, we don't need fire protection. It's fine. Uh, yeah, we don't. Whatever. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to find an end city and the Elytra and all of that. It's very, very easy to pull off. So I'm using up the rest of this, uh, diamond armor right here. We're going to put a lot of this stuff into here. And basically, I'm trying to make an armor set for each little row here, because why not? Because uh, you can see, yeah, obviously the chest plates and whatnot. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take all of these and we're just gonna cash them all in, because I'm never I haven't used them this entire time, and I feel like they're just gonna sit here forever. So might as well just get the XP for them, and you know, see what we get for them, right? And that way we can even go back to the enchanting table for the first time in a long time and actually use that and I'm not even paying attention to what we got here again these books have been here forever and obviously if you don't have a pickaxe or anything like that that can you know work well for you you want to combine those but you know we have plenty of good stuff I would say uh, and a lot of potential to get even more good stuff considering how much uh, that that fishing rod right there is useful now if I didn't have that fishing rod it might be a different story but not quite right now so let's dump a lot of these in here. Basically just stocking up in case I need any of these down the road, which I don't know if I will. Good to have those things offhand, though. Uh, these two bow. Well, this bow I definitely don't need. Now, the sword here is an interesting thing. Let's grab these swords here. So let's compare and contrast. So sharpness three mending. Uh, that has mending as well. I basically want to combine two of these here. The Bane of Arthropods, I really don't care about. They, uh, We have Unbreaking and Mending, which they're kind of redundant, but let's say I wanted to combine these two. How much would that cost? It costs nine. Uh, mending one, Sharpness three. Uh, yeah, this can get a little confusing a little bit. Bane of Arthropods, I really don't care about. I really, really don't care about that. And I basically want to combine it with this down here eventually. So let's do this. What if I combine these two? Okay, so we have 10 attack power here. It carries over the mending, unbreaking fire aspect. Now, if I swap these around, uh, that's actually doable, but it gets rid of the sharpness, which is definitely a problem. Don't want to have that be the uh, situation here. So I'm going to hold off on this for right now. The definitive one right now is this one. So I'm going to pop this bad boy right up in here. What does this do? We're actually going to go back into the end, by the way. Uh, I'm going to show you what I mean overall for, uh, you know, the good stuff in general. And I'm going to take, uh, I'm not going to take the diamond pickaxe for now. I'm actually going to toss this inside of the ender chest here, which you may say, Brian, why would you possibly do that? You know, but it's actually very common to find a uh, uh, an ender chest in the end city. So it's not necessarily a rare thing. I got a bunch of creepers, that way I could make the Flight Duration 3 uh, fireworks there, and I'm going to swap this here. Oh, that actually set that on fire. That could be a very big problem, actually. Maybe don't want to do that, we'll see. Uh, I want to put back Gloucester's Glory, and there we go. So I don't know if there's a way to, like, get specifically just, like, one thing off of there, but I don't know, whatever. So the, the pants, I don't, well, I could kind of burn them, I guess, but I'm going to leave them. So, all right, I'm going to head over into the end. I'll show you what I mean, and I also did a cool thing. I did that thing where you can, like, swim into the end. It's pretty cool. So, I'll, yeah, I'll show you what I mean. And just I realized that whole section, I was explaining everything with the weapons. I had the video accidentally cropped at the bottom, so you couldn't effectively see a lot of what I was talking about. My apologies, but I, I showed you kind of what was happening. So, uh, uh, oops, but okay. So I did that thing with the water over here where I can actually swim into this section here. You can place water in the end just like that, no problem whatsoever. So basically you just 
swim like this, and since you are one block high while you're swimming, boom, you can just swim right on through that way. So that works out very, very well. And I'm actually going to do that right to this section here. That way I can just swim into here, no problem at all. Cool? Let's see. Cool. So now I can just do this if I wanted to, and I should be able to go right back. Let's see. No, come on. Come on. Really? No? Hold on. I, I should be able to. Hold on. What if I do this uh, right here? That should work, right? Yes, go. Go. No? No? Okay, wait. Wait. Oh, no. Okay, well, that was not really what I wanted to do. But let me, uh, let me grab this right here real quick. Okay, try this one more time. Right. Where did I put it last time? I put it right in here, right? Let me try, let me try, oh, 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 what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh, are they triggered by the water? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they are. Okay, oops, oops, go under here, go under here real quick, go under here. Oops, I didn't realize that. My bad, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you would get hurt by the water. Oh, and that's gonna be a little, uh, uh, bad. Okay. Oops, yeah, alright, so make sure the, uh, Endermen don't fall in the water. That's uh The more you know wow. All right. They are super ticked off. Okay I'm gonna have to find a way to Have that not affect them for some reason And they're not mad now. So whatever. All right. So basically what we're gonna do is uh, uh, Ignore that right now. Uh, we're gonna ignore them and I'm gonna show you what I did before so I just one two three and then shoot There we go and now we fly all the way up. Now the interesting thing that I didn't quite realize about the end is there's actually multiple ways to get out of here. There is not one definitive way to get out of here. You can use different end portals that are like the ones that we just found right there in this area. And they kind of just spawn randomly as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see if we come across any of those. Uh, I have not been to... Like this section at all so this is basically uncharted territory here now that I have proper elytra travel and the fireworks the flight duration 3 fireworks more specifically those will help me to fly wherever I need to fly and hopefully find more good stuff and off camera I basically was uh, looting these end cities like they were nothing pretty much so they are they are not really an issue anymore. And now that we have two end ships right here, uh, that's going to make for quite the uh, Elytra, you know, rendezvous here. It's going to be uh, very easy to get this uh, next Elytra here. So we got two end cities right here, uh, one with Elytra that we know for sure. Now, obviously, get a ton of creeper before you go to the end. That way you can get gunpowder and make the fireworks and all that because there's no real way to do that otherwise we're going to slide into these direct messages right here and then boop there we go just like nothing I'm going to slide into here and destroy this thing and you're done cool there's another pair of elytra right there and we have more stuff so basically this is you just do this rinse and repeat the entire time i'm leaving the saddle i don't care uh yeah rinse and repeat this whole thing you're totally good uh, that's pretty much what the uh, the fun thing to do is and I guess now I can uh, fly over to that uh, Ship over there or maybe I should go over here first just to see if there's anything else inside of here Maybe 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 let's see Okay, oh, 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 oh. there we go. Okay. Okay Getting a little dicey here. Maybe let's see so you want to go over toward Ooh, that's a this is a powerful sword. I'm liking it. Okay. So a lot of the time there's going to be a, uh, you know, a chest in here somewhere. Uh, this is really where you're going to be rocking out. So let's see if I can find a chest somewhere around here, maybe up top the next floor. Uh, we're going to use these things here to our advantage. Take me up, Scotty. Take me up. Take me up. No. Okay, not taking me up. Well, now you're taking me up. That's good. Uh, let's go and avoid any more of those. We don't need them. And okay, cool. And now what you can basically do is fly off of here if you really need to. So we keep flying like this, and then one, two, three, and now we're gliding like no problem whatsoever. So basically, 
keep your composure, ladies and gentlemen. You got this, all right? You have the power. You're fine. You are totally, totally okay, all right? Now, a lot of these towers that are in here with the, uh, the end ship will not net you great gear on the tower themselves. The real gem is the ship over here. So we're just going to grab these two again. There is no ender chest in here, so you cannot take your stuff with you necessarily. But uh, you can grab all the loot you can. Look at this. Look at all this stuff, right? More stuff than you could ever need in your lifetime, but it's great, right? All right, more diamonds. Beautiful, all right? So now the goal is going to be to find a uh, an ender chest to bring this stuff back home. Because if I die, I don't want to die in vain here, all right? So let's go. One, two, three. Make sure you, you hit that button three times, ladies and gentlemen. Three times is the charm right there. So let's see if we can find an ender chest in here. And obviously flying from location to location helps because uh, we're not dealing with all that whole column full of shulker boxes like we did last time. We're just basically skipping over that entire area here. There is an ender chest right over there, right on cue. Fantastic. All right, we're going to let this guy hit me. And now, make sure you dodge some of these here, because they do sting. They definitely sting. They, they do not tickle at all. Even if you have full diamond armor, uh, you don't want to let them sting you. So we're just going to you know, go over here real quick, and there we go. Okay, so he's gone for now. I'm going to do this, and we're good. All right, there's more diamond stuff. We can pop that right into here. No problem at all. Look at all this. Look at all this stuff going back to the, the, you know, the area here, whatever you want to call it. Bam. You can just toss all your stuff in there. You're totally good to go. I'm going to make a, a quick escape here. And I'm going to try to... Ah, see? Right on cue, I was going to say. Uh, there is a, a means to get out of here right over there. So we're clearly very far from home right there. Right there. You can see that. Is there a third one that I can call upon? No, not quite yet. So we're going to go... Uh, over toward this end city over here. Did we go to that one over there? Uh, yes, we did. Okay. Uh, let me go to the top of this one here. And then basically, I'm going to keep going until I feel I've run out of uh, proper amounts of fireworks to call upon. The fireworks are definitely key for transportation here. I don't want to waste Elytra for sure. But, you know, I also want to keep this going as much as I can. So... That's really the uh, the key to mining through these areas with ease is to get the fireworks, get plenty of Elytra, and really, it's a it's semi a confidence thing as well. Uh, if you can go through here and you have this good armor after building up for so long, like I'm sure you remember, you know, us going to the end for the first time recently, and it was quite the excursion here. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Hold on. This is bad. This is bad. Hold on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Avoid it all. Wow, we lucked out real good right there, ladies and gentlemen. We lucked out uh, real good. And uh, you can swat that away with anything. You're good. All right, cool. So now I'm not losing my composure. It's basically like asking out that pretty girl at school. You just got to do that enough times, get rejected, and you're good. For the one time, you actually get the confidence to do it, right? That's exactly what it's like, right? Exactly. I'm going to toss those on there, because why not? Uh, we've been over there. Well, we didn't go over... Did we go over here? I forget. Well, let's just see what happens. Make sure you uh, have your wings on you at all times. And don't be afraid to let those shulker kind of help you. They are unintentionally helping you get to the top of your destination here. The less fireworks you can use, the better, obviously. So like these guys down here, I'm going to ask for their help a little bit here. Make sure you look up. That way the Endermen don't nab you. Okay. So there you go. Now we're just going to let this uh, take us. And then remember to uh, press spacebar three times in order to, you know, avoid certain or uncertain death. There we go. Okay, so no shulker right now. There's some up top there, but that's not our concern right the second. We have no more potions on us, so that's fine. Uh, we obviously have ender chests on us if we need them, but I feel like we're not going to. Not right now, at least. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted to do, but that works all the same. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be nothing down here. 
And remember, we can press space bar three times. One, two, three. And now we can glide right down, right? We're good. We are so incredibly good at this game, okay? We're fine. We're totally fine. Uh, our goal is going to be to go up top over there. That way we can glide right down, no problem whatsoever. There's going to be a chest in here as well. This thing can get away from me. You can almost see it. No, no chest up here. Okay. Ooh. Okay, make sure you don't fall right there. Look, see, I got this. I got this, ladies and gentlemen. We're fine. We got it. We got it. We got it. We're good. All right, I'm going to stay calm. Stay calm, Brian. Stay calm, Anakin. Stay calm, Anakin. You got this, bro. You got it. Okay. You just keep telling yourself that you're okay, and eventually, you just might be okay. Eventually. Maybe not in that moment specifically, but eventually, you know. Uh, let's, you know, avoid this. There we go. We don't need that shulker right there. He's good. You know, he's, uh, he's not good, but he's not, you know, necessary right now. All right, so we want to be potentially over here, actually. So let's grab that. Uh, and we're going to glide down from that section right there. So let's uh, let's get crack a lacking, shall we? Bam. One, two, three, four. Four is all it takes. We got it. Okay. Maybe in here there's going to be a chest of some kind. Let's see. Okay. There goes that. Good. Very, very good. Okay. We're good. We got it. Let him fly. Let him fly. Fly high to the sky, I do say, as I do declare. Okay. And then we got it. We're good. Bam. Look at this. Look at this. Not an issue whatsoever. Ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Now we can just glide right up to the top here. There's nothing else up top over this way, correct? That's the roof. We don't need to raise the roof any more than we already have. One, two, three. And now it's smooth sailing. Smooth as butter. As a little, little shtick of butter. All right. Go. Glide. 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 Boom. And that's how you know you're in a new area when you have these instant potions of health. Just there for the slim pickings there. One, two, three. Get that four. Bam. We're good. And it's always enchanted stuff, dude. And emerald stuff, too. Wow. Lots of elytra. We're doing pretty good, man. We're doing pretty darn good for a, a, a haul right here. And obviously, the uh, the dragon heads are, are very, very plentiful. So if you want to do that as well, you can. Uh, I, I'm trying to figure out where I haven't been before, and I'm flying over the void. Oh, boy. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going until I have three of these left. I feel like that'd be a good spot to make our way back home or try to find a way back home. But I'm going to go over this way. I don't have any cold seltzer water, so I can't call upon that to drink. But you know what? That's fine. I, it's only lemon lime. I had some uh, packs of crackers earlier to subside my hunger, and now it's getting to the point where it's too late to actually go anywhere or do anything to uh, get food. So that's the uh, the conflict of the night, as it typically is. You know, it's too late to actually go anywhere or do anything. So you gotta, you know, figure things out. Probably just grab a box of Totino's pizza rolls on my way home from the gas station because I don't know what else I'd get. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. My life could come to much worse circumstances, all right? I am I am down for some pizza rolls every once in a while. Not every time, but every once in a while. I know how to indulge, all right? Pizza rolls are great. Totino's tremendous. Have I been here before? Yes, I have not. Okay, cool. This is an actual means to get to the top here. Which doesn't typically happen. Have I been here? Uh, no. Oh, I definitely have not been here. That's for sure. Because that would have been looted to kingdom come. Wow. Holy mackerel, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot of stuff. That is a whole lot of stuff. Okay. That's a great sign. That's a tremendous sign right there. We have 12 diamonds. We haven't mined for diamond in like 7 billion years. And we have as much diamond as I could probably ever want in my life. Which is totally fine by me. We're going to whoop de scoop the our way right through here. Bam. Gliding right on through. No issue whatsoever. But apparently... Have we been here? Yeah, we have. Huh. But I didn't go inside a... 
that area there. Okay. Well, I'm glad I did, because otherwise... Oh, this must have been one of the first ones we got to, because I mined out the, the front there, seemingly. Okay. Uh, but I don't know why I would mine out the top to be that kind of way. Oh, yeah, we're back kind of where we were before. All right, so let's try going over here. I want to go into the infinitely expanding void, which is not technically infinitely expanding at all. It is very, very not the case. It is more so a ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posy, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. No, it is a ring around where the uh, end island is. So it's not quite like it's a it's a wide ring. It's like a big fat onion ring pretty much but not as big of an onion ring as you might think. You know, you'll find plenty of entryways and exits toward different areas for sure, but not as expanding as the overworld. Or it might be bigger than the nether, maybe. For now, I don't really know. Let's see if there's any goodness inside of here. Not right there, at least. No. Okay, that's not what I want. And we're good. Cool. Well, that's not what I want. Let's just keep flying. Uh, I need to go down to this section here. That's probably where the good stuff is. So we just keep flying. And then one, two, three. There we go. Face upward here. Upward is your key. You will not take much fall damage, if any at all, if you look upward. And just like I had predicted, that's where I want to be. So we'll go right over here as if nothing happened. Bam. All right. I'm going to steal one of these... Uh, do I have a shulker box on me? No, that is my mistake. Okay. I did not prepare properly for this, but that's okay. You know, that's fine. May have to prioritize what exactly I'm rocking with here, but you know what? Okay. Uh, let's go into here. That, oh, have we been here as well? Probably. Huh. Okay. But, or maybe that's just not as good a gear? Oh. Uh, well, that's that ender chest there. I could make a shulker box, but I don't have the materials for it, so it's just kind of whatever at this point. We should probably make our way... Oh, hi. Uh, we should probably make our way back, because that would be the smart thing to do. I do need to get another one of those chorus flowers for the very top. So I'm going to try to look on the horizon here. If you see any uh, exits to the overworld, make sure you scream at your TV, tablet, or phone. And let me know, because I can't see anything. Although, this does not work like Dora the Explorer. You never quite know, man. I might just be able to hear you. Just kidding, I definitely can't. Don't do that. Uh, let me figure out... Ooh, anywhere? I might need to skip ahead. I'd rather not, because I've done most of this video in one take. Let me go... Um, well, that's familiar, because that pillar on top there is where we've been. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure out, unless I find a new area to explore, I'll, uh, or a new exit to the temple, the end, rather, I'll, uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to do this the not-quite-efficient-slash-smart way, the way that I prefer not to do this, but it kind of has to happen this way. I'm going to yeet myself off the, off the edge... And uh, this ender chest is going to stay here forever. Per or, yeah, it's going to stay here forever. Uh, so I have all of these in here. Smite for Like, this is incredible stuff. And I can just cash all that back in. I have 18 levels here I'm pretty much going to waste. Because I don't know what else I'm going to do. I have this. Well, this, this Elytra is pretty much gone. You know, all this stuff here is pretty disposable. Except for this thing here. Uh, what do I want to leave here? Probably the, uh, uh, it doesn't really matter, actually. That, I'll leave that behind. The gold horse armor we can take. It's not necessarily essential, but whatever. I can swap that out for that. And everything else here is whatever. So, the fish, I have billions of fish, it's fine. Unless I can last minute find something here. Uh, no, cannot happen. Alright, so I'm just gonna basically... Uh, wish you all a farewell, but not really because I'm just going to be back home in a second here. Yeah, so all this is going to stay there. That under chest is gone. Goodbye. Bye. Yay. Death. Yeah, look at that. I actually hit the ground. Nice. Respawn and I'm back there, all right? Everything's right here. Wow, look at that. It's like almost nothing ever happened. 
Now, if you're in a hardcore world, obviously not what you want to do. But hey, we're not in a hardcore world, and all those Elytra were not, you know, the Elytra we had before, not necessary. So, we got three of those now, four, rather. No fireworks left, but that's fine. I'm going to cash in those iron things right now, because I'm obviously not going to use iron for anything else. And cool, we'll do this. And now I'm already up to level eight without me doing a single thing. Fantastic. So that was a lot of what this episode was. I didn't intentionally try to do that. That's just kind of how things went. So I will... I guess I'll just use iron for now. I got almost a full set of iron armor. I'm going to do other stuff. I'm not going to go back to the end or anything like that. I just wanted I just wanted to go, you know? I just wanted to show you how to loot an end city with uh, proficiency here. So we got to find some more horses. We got to do a lot of stuff. But hey, it was a good run while it was there. We have plenty of diamond to make stuff. And more tools than I'll ever need in my life. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name has been Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien. I'll see you again next time for more Minecrafting in the future, whatever that may be. It could be the end. It could be, well, not the end of the series, but the end in general. It could be, you know, whatever it needs to be. And look at that. I'm almost back to where I was before. Fantastic. So, yeah, I'll talk to you all next time. Peace out. Bye.